What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new mini series I'm going to be doing on my channel, basically walking you guys through how to use PK Hex to make your gen mons look legitimate, as well as pass Nintendo or Game Freak's hack check. Each of these videos will be assuming that you already have access to a homebrew 3DS because I will not be walking you guys through how to homebrew your 3DS. Because I do not want to be responsible if you guys mess up and break your 3DS. So Joe Door makes a bunch of tutorials on how to access homebrew and uh, I'll leave a few of those videos in the description of this video. These videos are basically meant for educational purposes for my friends who are having trouble ginning their mons. And uh, I know Pokemon ginning is a hot button topic in the community right now. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of hate in the comment section, but uh, I really don't care. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to part 3 of my PK Hex series. Today I'm going to show you guys how to gen event mons from all the way back in Gen 3 up until the current Gen 7. So, PK Hex makes it very, very simple for us. All you do is go to Tools up to the top left, click Data, and then Mystery Gift Database. And it's going to open up this big box here, and I'll try to, I know OBS is going to cut off part of it, but I'll try to get at least the important stuff. Um, on the screen for you guys. So basically you see all these mods here, you can like scroll through the list and you know it's kind of a pain in the ass but if you go to this species box, let's say you wanted one of those crown Entei's, the shiny Entei event from uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So you'll type in Entei and then click search at the bottom and these are all of the Entei's that are in the database. So we'll go ahead and right click it and then click view and then I'll move this out of the way so you guys can see PK Hex. Um, and let's say you're looking for the Entei that has extreme speed. So let's check its attacks. It does in fact have extreme speed, but let's say for instance it didn't. Um, all you would do is just right click the next one and keep going until you find the event that you're looking for. So that's literally it. Um, the only thing that I can think of that are not in the database are the old wish events um, like the wish executor uh, wish licky tongue stuff like that um, that I can make a separate video on if you guys are curious um, they're actually very simple to gin um, but yeah those are not in the database so we'll go ahead and close the database and it actually fills out everything for you so you don't have to change anything here although you might want to set the level to 50 or level to 100 or whatever else um, so this event and some events are static natures so unfortunately this event you are not able to change its nature to anything else it's stuck with adamant most uh, events nowadays actually you are allowed to change the natures but unfortunately Entei and let me see if I can think of another one I think Ash Greninja is another one that you cannot change the nature but yeah just be weary um, some events do not allow you to change the nature. Um, I think all of the crown beasts are stuck with the nature that they're given, so it's kind of unfortunate, but it's kind of what we're stuck with. Um, so for the held item, you can give it whatever you want. So we'll give it like a choice band. You can make the friendship max or whatever you want. Um, you don't have to change anything else. Um, if you go to the met tab, you don't have to change anything else. Notice it is in a cherish ball. Again, Cherish Balls are only for event mons. Met level is 30, that's basically what level this Entei is given to you. Um, and notice here, it actually has the Fateful Encounter thing checked. That is for events only, you never ever have to check that unless you're ginning an event. Next, we can go to stats and you can give it whatever stats you want. Um, again, there are some event mons, like Ash Greninja, that... Uh, Let's see, for example, Ash Ninja, you can only have three perfect stats, um, which is unfortunate, but there is a thing called Hyper Training, which allows you to fix that, so it's not a super big deal, but it is kind of a pain in the ass, but just be, again, be um, weary of what you're ginning, um, and you can give it whatever uh, EVs you want as well. And then next, you can give it whatever attacks you want. Um, notice the relearn moves, there are none. And then here on the OT slash miscellaneous, make sure obviously all this information is correct, which it should be. Don't change any of this. Um, the latest not OT handler, which would be you, because you are the current handler of this mod. And you don't have to change any of the memories, just leave them alone. 
Um, you don't even have to re-roll this. Um, you don't even have to re-roll this either, but unless you just want to. Um, so let's say we did. Obviously make it shiny, and that's it. Um, also, if you get this weird error message saying that the uh, PID or the encryption constant has to be flipped, literally all you have to do to fix that is just keep re-rolling. Um, let me see if I can actually get it to happen. Yeah, here we go. So it says invalid PID should be equal to EC with top bit flipped. Literally all you have to do to fix that is just keep re-rolling and just keep doing it until it fixes itself. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, <laughs> not gonna lie, but there you go, you see it fixed, and now this Entei is in fact legal. So that's pretty much it for event mons, guys. Like I said, pretty much every event, if not all of them, are in the database, except for those wish mons, and there might be some other events that might not be there. Also, for new events, let's say in the future we get another shiny Tapu event, um, give PK the PK Hex guys a couple days. Usually they're pretty good about updating PK Hex with uh, the new events and stuff. So give them a couple days or check uh, projectpokemon.org. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Favorite, subscribe, stuff like that. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Peace out. Oh, I also forgot to mention, once you're done, obviously you want to right-click in your box and then click Set. And now you're done.